All right, guys. We're gonna do <laughs> an intro, just like uh, my uh, I'm a fan of. Oh, let me take that out. So, no, you'll know where I work. But uh, today, we're gonna do a uh, product review of the technology we use at work, and it is this thing. Oh. <laughs> He's even got my sticker on it. Uh, this thing right here, which is called the uh, Vocera Model B3000N. I'm going to show you why you should not buy it. So, this is very popular in the healthcare world. A lot of hospitals use it. Even though I only work at one hospital, I have seen it in shows and I've asked uh, one of our travelers if they use it and she said yes and she's a traveler and most of the hospitals that she has worked in uh, do use them and this I guess they, the 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 people that make Vocera they have a monopoly of this kind of technology and you might be tempted to buy it but here are reasons why you should not buy it first of all this is not these do not have even though these have three buttons right here and this one's also a button there the way we use it we don't have a way to uh, call certain numbers like say for example if you want to call the front desk or you want to uh, use an overhead overhead page or an emergency page there is no uh, feature in there we're just if you do a long press it will go through all the vocera units in the department or in the hospital say you know if you want to announce uh, an emergency uh, you know, we need code blue or something like that. No, there is no way to do that. So if you're thinking about using this kind of device for that purpose, then no. You can't do that. So no physical button can be programmed to do a one, like a speed dial. It doesn't do that. Uh, the other thing, this is wireless. So if you have a bigger department to cover, that means you have a bigger access point and access points means it can only go so far so you need to invest more to gain that coverage you know also access points can only accommodate so many units so that's also a thing to bear in mind is that this can get costly very quick if you want to cover uh, if you want to have like a whole hospital covered so bear that in mind another thing to consider is that this is uh, voice technology so you know people can't hear very well so you know think about it like this if you have problems with me talking to you like you can't hear or understand then this is what that technology does as well if this technology can't hear you then it won't do anything or if the signal cuts out then this won't do anything it'll say it'll keep on saying oh I don't understand even though you clearly enunciate and clearly speak your vo uh, clearly speak the commands, it won't 100% um, translate it. Now, if you're gonna ask me how much percent of it, um, it comes to a point where it gets really annoying at times. Like, let me give you an example. You know, I'm in a red trauma and I'm in an emergency. I'm doing a code blue or in any environment where it's very noisy this can't hear you very well so if you're trying to call somebody and everybody's frantic in the room trying to get you know trying to get medications trying to get uh, trying to do CPR trying to ask questions about you know how much blood we've lost or uh, how close are you to closing and finishing you know that kind of thing this can't hear you very well even if you they uh, tell you to put it in between your your bosom or in probably you know six inches away or seven inches away from your mouth and you don't do that even if you do like all the right steps to make it hear you clearly it will not hear you clearly okay another thing to consider is your population so if your population has um, is heavy accented <laughs> I don't know I don't know if it's uh, politically correct but if you have people that have thick accents um, so she has a problem 
with uh, calling people. So she sometimes employ other uh, co-workers to, uh, to say the name for her. And even though you can train Bocera attuned to what, how you say things, but it doesn't always work because, again, this uh, relies on the microphone and if for some reason it can't hear you, it won't, it will ignore the command or it will try to guess who you're trying to call and most of the time it's not really the person you're trying to call so that is what is the annoying part so if you have people who have heavy accents uh, my coworker who is from Scotland I have trouble with it uh, I know a few people from the uh, environmental services have a problem with it they can't even log in that's how sad this thing can be and if you forgot uh, how you logged in or how you said your name, uh, that can be a problem as well. You know, because I have coworkers who speak fluent English, but you know, they forgot how they logged in or how they said their name. That can mean trouble. And then, but you know, you can always ask for ISD to <clears throat> for help with this or whoever your uh, contact person. For Vocera and then they'll glad to help you so also <clears throat> since this is wireless technology this has been known to drop out of signal drop out of even though it'll say I have three bars you know like in a cell phone it has three bars um, even though the signal strength is strong it will say out of network which is glitchy so this technology isn't perfect but you know if you really want it if you want to have convenience of it that's fine but if I were you I would just stick to a phone or a pager another thing to consider before buying this is that it has glitches okay this is not a perfect handset even though it will say you have three bars of signal because it will register on the top right corner of the device will say you know you have three bars of signal and I'll show you the video of it I took from from when it did that and it'll say out of network which is what <laughs> so you know you, you might be wearing on on you you might be wearing this thing on you and you're thinking you know it's doing its thing you know it's getting signal and if anybody can reach you at any time no this thing will say you have three bars of signal but you're still out of network also in a, an emergent um, if you have somebody who needs to be contacted all the time this is something that you cannot rely on okay you have to have another mode of, com of reaching whoever is uh, who needs to be uh, contacted at all times okay you can't have just this alone you have to have a phone or a pager because this thing can drop out of signal without you knowing and I have I have been in that uh, position before where I'm at the end of my shift and, and I go back to change and it will say oh you have a call from you know I didn't press anything and I didn't receive a call, you know, it didn't ring, and it said, you know, you had a call from uh, your coworker at, you know, 3 a.m. in the morning. I was like, uh, did something happen at 3 a.m.? <laughs> or the next time you log in, the following day, you'll get, you know, several calls from people who, who you work with, and you ask them, like, oh, did you need me from... Something yesterday? Yeah, we were at an emergency. Where were you? I was like, oh, I didn't know. You know, I was in my, I was on my Vocera and, you know, when I logged in today, it said, like, I had, like, six million calls from you guys. So this thing is not reliable. So that is something to consider when you're trying to buy this thing. And I don't think I've, I, I don't think I've seen any videos uh, reputing... You know, it's like, oh my god, this is the Vocera, and this is great, this is wonderful. 
well, this isn't that wonderful. Okay, so if you're considering on buying it, but you have a communication solution already in place, like a pager or a phone, keep your phone. Well, you know, it's it's your business, so you gotta weigh in your. It's your business, so you gotta weigh in whether the uh, the cons outweigh the pros. Because this thing is good, because when it works, okay. So when you press on it, you'll say, you know, call my coworker, and you'll say, oh, contacting so and so, or. The annoying thing is that it'll keep on asking, oh, did you want me to call or did you want me to call? Every time, you know, 80% it does that. It'll, it'll ask you, oh, did you mean, did you mean, and it gets old really quick. Instead of, you know, call so-and-so and it'll go through. Calling coworker. And I'll call that person. It's like, oh, hey, John, or hey, hey, man. So, and most of the time, even though when the rep tells you not to do this, <laughs> you'll end up doing this. Oh, hey, uh, can you come here to the OR and help me? So, even though they tell you to speak in a, you know, speak, like, when you're speaking to someone in front of you. And they say this is $500, but it's cheap plastic. And when, oh... Another thing to consider when you're buying this is that the batteries, the batteries, they have clip, they're clip on, so they, they hug to the, to the device, but, um, it breaks, so you're gonna have to constantly, um, replace the batteries because the, the clips are not sturdy, so... If you have, and the batteries die as well. So, if you have a dead battery, you gotta send it back. If your the clips broke off, you gotta send it back. And the charging, the charging stations. If you bought the charging station, of course you're gonna buy the charging station. If you're gonna invest in this thing, the charging stations also die. So that's the bad part. So. The batteries die, the clips break off, and the ports in the charging station uh, go dead as well. So, you know, it's not really a um, shaping up to be a good technology. So, you know, bear that in mind if you want to invest in this kind of technology that you're going to have to invest constantly in battery replacements okay and charging station repairs or you know even uh handset units replacements you know because this thing i we've had several people lose it before and um, i think people are still losing them so yeah that is my review of the vocera b3000n Hope you like it. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or you know, you just want to shoot me a question about this unit, feel free to ask in the comment section and uh, I'll try to get back to you as quick as I can. All right, bye.